This is Sandy continuing. Uh, so those are the four examples that I noticed in a row. There was no stillness in my mind. I felt like what I had learned really um, just went on hold. Um, but in fact, I was not able to stop myself in the moment as these things were occurring, as my mind would kicked in in every situation there where I was overcome with fear based on not reality, but more pictures in the mind, memories coming to my conscious mind, controlling how I was acting. And the reason why it's so important to me, so yes, I, I was not able to, I, to stop it then, that's true. I am able to see it clearly now, so one thing at a time, keep going. Uh, I will be more uh, try and be more aware to stop that kind of thing when it's happening in the moment. That would be wonderful. Um, so the point being, um, is this is this it? So I have 50 years of accumulated memories. So that's part of my mind. And as I'm learning, I also have much in my mind from the unified consciousness field and perhaps other lifetimes but certainly the part that I'm aware of is these memories from the last 50 years so is this who I am? am I a collection of memories? and now and I'm a reactor, I'm a robot that reacts to memories filled with fear, controlled by fear, enslaved by comparison, the results in jealousy. And if not that, or polar polarities. So comparisons resulting in jealousy, and then I see people on the street, and then there's the polarity, and that brings up guilt. which then in turn I'll start thinking about the past. So is that who I am? Is that what I have to contribute to the world now? I go on, but I'm controlled by these thoughts, feelings and emotions and memories from the past. They're always there. People in my life um, deal with this, with these emotions and reactions. Because they're, it's who I am. It's who I've become. And they come up in every circumstance that I have now. And is that what I'm going to give to the world? I'm just going to get by, try hang on to my money, right? Hang on to your money. Hang on to it. Pass it on from generation to generation. Be okay. I'm very grateful to destiny to start to be aware of my robotic behavior. It's not what I want. I'm much more aware now when this stuff happens, when I start going into my mind with either imaginings in the future or memories from the past. And time will go by, right? And you kind of go, oh, I was in my mind again. So I'm very grateful for this process that feels like an awakening, not what I want to give the world. There's much I can contribute, and I choose freedom from this. It's a process. That's about it. Thank you.